Hello viewers, um, right, so basically um, I've been wanting to do um, something a little bit different than bowls. I think I mentioned that on the last video um, that I made with the bowl um, before I went away on holiday. And um, I wanted to do um, like a little tea light. So um, I've been looking around on the YouTube and getting some ideas and I came across Carl Jacobson's video uh, of a little pot where he's drilled some holes in it um, basically which looked really quite cool um, and I thought I could actually make that into a kind of a tea light slightly different but along the same same levels of what he did there fantastic um, little box little three lidded uh, box you've got the top comes off uh, and the bottom comes off um, it all goes together I think he used maple and walnut I think to do his box with so I contacted Carl and uh, said, "Look, you know, do you mind if I kind of uh, copy your uh, your box and I'd uh, love to sort of like, you know, chuck you some pictures um, your way?" He said, "Yeah, that's great. You know, look forward to the pictures." So um, can't come across maple that often really round round here for some reason. I've had a look around. I can't really find it. So I found the next best thing, which is basically a piece of sycamore. Um, now this is quite a large um, chunk of wood, so we don't need this much. So I'm going to stick it in the bandsaw, I'm going to cut a piece off here um, and then we're going to get it in the lathe and then we're going to um, see if we can make this uh, this little box. I think it should look quite quite cool. Um, as I say, I'm going to start, I'm going to drill some holes in it. Um, I bought myself a new little um, little drill for sort of piercing holes, uh, which I'll show you in a minute as well. And then we'll make some random holes everywhere um, and then uh, see if we can make the, the, the top and the bottom. Uh, and make it into a little tea line, see how that turns out. Uh, so see how we get on. There we go. Uh, so just a little note when you're using the bandsaw, make sure you get the blade, well you move this down so it's just basically above the wood that you're going to cut. So you don't want this because this can go all the way up the top here. So this goes all the way up, obviously for bigger pieces of wood. But what you want to do is find your piece of wood wherever you want, and then bring this down just to the just above it. Um, make it nice and safe for you. So um, this is all we need for the moment. Sorry, if you can't see me there. There we go, a bit better. So this is all we need for the moment. So we're going to get this on the lathe, uh, and we're going to turn this uh, into uh, turn this round and then we're going to start uh, piercing some holes in it. Okay, so um, we've got this um, almost round now. Um, so what we're going to do is um, I'm going to um, take the centerpiece out of the chuck here. And this is quite a nice little tool as well. I've got this today from John Davis uh, Wood Turning. Uh, this is quite good because uh, rather than having to keep swapping um, pieces all the time, I can keep the chuck on there all the time now. So basically the chuck stays on the lathe, this goes in to turn between centres, um, and then uh, I just whip this out, chuck's already on there, um, and then I can just bang this straight inside the chuck, like so. and away we go nice and easy always try and make life easy for yourself if you can okay so um, this is as far as we've got so far is um, we've um, I've made this slightly different so I made it a little bit more wider at the bottom um, just to make it a little bit uh, different than Carl's one um, and obviously I'm going to use it as a tea light as well so a little bit different there as well so um, we've um, got this far now um, I, I need to pierce obviously through here to make some little holes which I'll do in a second but in the meantime what I've done is I've hooked up a little piece of um, darker wood here on the lathe and what I need to do is I need to form a base and a lid for um, for this so basically if you can see that there um, we need to have this uh, going on to there um, and then this is going to form the base and the lid of, of, of this box or, or this tea light anyway so uh, I'll get on and do that now 
And we've got to be quite careful here because um, we need to make sure this fits nicely and snug. And this is going to be the, the top. So um, that's what we're going to try and fit at the moment. So I just need to get that in a bit fit on there for the moment and then we can work out, we can finish the top once it's back in the lathe again the other way around. Okay, so we're going to take the uh, top of the this off now. So that's basically where we want it to be. I think. We hope. Okay, so there's the lid, that's the inside of the lid. So as you can see what I've done here, kind of almost looks like that mini bowl, a mini version of the bowl I made the other day, didn't it? <laughs> put some colours in it. Um, but what I've done here is I'm gonna put my logo on the inside uh, of this lid this time instead of on the base, just, just to do something different really. So and I put some lines in here, again, just to sort of spice it up a little bit. So again, this is the, um, this is the main base. Um, and then this, this will go on top here like that, like a little Mexican hat and then what we'll do is we'll shape this up in a minute um, and get some sort of shape out of this, this won't be this wide but uh, we'll make it a bit smaller than that so now um, we need to do the base so um, we need to make another similar one uh, for the bottom of here I've bought myself a little Dremel which seems to be quite a nice little tool this is the Dremel 8200 Nice piece of kit, um, just got that today. So um, I'm gonna put some random holes in here. Uh, so as you can see here, just basically putting in random holes <coughs> basically everywhere 
no particular pattern in any sort just basically random ones i'll swap to the the drill now the old makita um cracking trusted source drill um and i'm just basically changing it up with different uh size um drill pieces really so again just got to be careful not to get too close to each one otherwise you're going to break through um, and sort of spoil the effect really but basically i need to do this all the way around this piece which is going to take some time so um i'll probably uh, get about done now i'm sure you don't want to sit here watching me do all that but just random ones you see i've got some little ones in here as well only tiny ones but i need to uh, sand all this back as well and uh, which i'll do um, after I've done all the holes so I'll come back to you when I've done that right so put all the uh, the holes in it now basically random holes everywhere uh, and I'm going to just sand this down I think this might be a little bit more of a pain than I originally thought to be fair because I think I'm going to need to sand um, or be uh, and try and clean out the holes a little bit better because I don't think that they're going to clean out very well but we'll see when I get on and sand it Okay, so um, <clears throat> here it is. I've um, sanded it down a bit more, got inside some of the holes and uh, inside here and, and sanded it down. A little bit tedious, time consuming, but you know, um, I think you've got to got to do it really. Otherwise, it's going to look silly. There's still some bits that needed attention, but I'll get to those. I had a little bit of tear out of the um, wood here, which is a little bit of a shame, but hopefully I can keep sanding that back. Okay, so we've done... Uh, We've done this piece so far. I just need a bit more polishing, um, and I've got to blow out a little bit more of this. But uh, that's almost done. Okay, so as you know, I did this uh, part of the lid earlier on. So now I'm going to fix this to the uh, the chuck, uh, and then we're going to finish the top of this. Okay, so what we need to do now, now we've finished, um, well, we haven't quite finished this, this piece um, middle bit yet. Um, very fiddly, take quite some time um, to get it right, because obviously you've got to get all the bits out of the holes and everything. Um, but as I say, you've got this, um, this gun, which is quite good for just getting all the bits out. So it's quite a handy um, tool really. Um, so now we've got to make the base. Now what we need to do with this is we need to um, make sure obviously it fits uh, around and so this slots into there as well. But then also we need a little section to put our tea light in as well. So I'm going to um, try and do the base now um, so this fits in there.
So I just finished the base off, and you can see it's come up absolutely awesome. I mean, I finished this with this um, uh, shellax. Um, this is absolutely amazing stuff. Really is uh, awesome to to use. So um, yeah, if you ever get the chance to get some of this stuff, um, I definitely recommend it. Um, it brings it really up really nicely. I've used a few products on these on this project so far. Um, and uh, they're all pretty awesome really so uh, but that uh, shellax is really quite something else Okay, so almost ready to finish the base off, which I've basically sanded down. And what I've done is I've um, made this a little bit more concave in here. So basically, when it sits flat, it basically just sits on this rim here, which would be a bit better. I did um, didn't do that initially, and it, it was a little bit wobbly. So I've just basically um, concaved it in slightly, um, and now it just sits nicely on the on the rim. So what I'm going to do here as well, I'll put a little bit of a pattern in here, but what I'm going to do to spice it up a little bit more, um, I'm going to put something in the middle here. And um, so I'm going to take this piece out. Now obviously normally I'd put my emblem in here, but that's already kind of in the lid. So. What I've got here is I've got a little button, just a normal button really I picked up from the, uh, well John Lewis actually, um, and I'm going to insert that into the bottom there. So I just need to get rid of this, this piece at the bottom and then that will sit nicely in there. Okay, last thing, uh, what we're going to do here um, is, um, as you can see, I've put these little grooves in here, and then mainly that's really to separate off the holes that I've done. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scorch um, a line in here and there, just to sort of like bring those lines out a bit. Uh, I'm just using a little bit of wire here, and then what we'll do is just place it in. See, see that black now. I'm gonna do the same with this one. Probably needs a bit more. Okay. That just brings that out. I uh, just need to wipe off the mess that's left. Should better just wipe that off with a bit of rag.
Okay, everyone, we made it. Um, for me, it took me quite some time really to finish this project, but um, I've had this kind of idea in my head for quite some time after I saw Carl Jacobson make something very similar. Um, and um, I thought that's awesome, you know, and I thought that, that would be a really great kind of tea light, um, really. Um, so, um, obviously, um, that gave me really big inspiration to try to make um, this. And I've had this kind of like, well, image in my head of what I wanted to do with it. Um, and um, it's turned out better than I thought it was going to be, actually. Um, I thought it was going to be, well, it, it, it was very tricky, you know. Um, there were some bits, obviously, which I didn't show in the video, which I had to go back over and redo and rethink. Um, so anyway, so we've got the base, which as you can see, has got the little um, kind of insert in um, for the tea light. And I've got my little tea light, which I bought off of um, eBay, as always. Um, so that turns on, you can't really see it, but I'll show you in, in a second when I turn the light out. Um, so that just sits, uh, sits in there. Now what I've done here is I've made a little ridge here. So I've tried to mix this up a little bit and try to change it so it's not quite like the one that Carl made. Um, so um, got a few rims in here but then I've also put this button inside there which again you know is quite a just a little bit of a different effect really. Um, quite nice. And then you've got this rim here which is a little bit different as well and then obviously this ridge which is where the tea light sits in. Um, and then we've got this piece here which is quite nice. Uh, made this um, out of, um, oh god what was it made out of? Sycamore wasn't it? So um, this was, yeah, very laborious, painful, um, but, you know, it was, it didn't take that long, to be fair, it didn't, didn't really take that long, it's just all about mixing up all the different holes with different drill bits. I bought the Dremel, uh, for that usage, and yeah, it's a great little tool, but I ended up using the drill, the small drill more than I used the Dremel, really, just a bit easier to kind of, uh, drill. Um... And what I've done is I've hollowed the whole thing out as well, which obviously I, uh, Carl uh, obviously didn't do that because he didn't really need to, but um, for his project. So um, this obviously sits um, in there quite nicely. It's quite a nice fit actually on that. Um, and then obviously you've got the lid, which I've made, which I put earlier on with uh, my emblem in. Um, and um, this I'd messed up because basically what I've done here is... Um, I've sanded this too much and there's very much a um, need sometimes in your head that you need to keep sanding um, and um, I've done it many a times and I've sanded it too much and it doesn't quite tight fit now so it just sits on the top like that but it's alright I mean you know it's not too much of a problem so there it is um, finished with the tea light in um, I'm pretty pleased with it actually. Obviously, finished it off with the black lines here, sort of burned, scorched um, that that into it. I am pretty pleased with it. So um, let's have a look at it in the dark and see if it actually works. Is the question. Um, so I'll turn this on now. Okay, and we'll put that on there. What I'll do is I'll grab this. Okay, so I've just turned this around. So you can see it, and I'm just going to flick the lights out. So turn these ones, and there we go. It's not not a bad little uh, effect, actually. It actually looks like it's burning. I don't think you'd really want to put a real one in there. I think it might um, catch fire. So that's not advisable. So there we go. So there we have it. Um, so I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope it didn't go on for too long. I, I will try and obviously cut the video down to um, uh, a, a reasonable size video so it's not too boring. Although I've had a few comments of um, trying to explain things in a little bit more detail, so I've tried to do that along the way. 
Um, and uh, I appreciate this is not going to be everyone's cup of tea, no doubt. Um, but I um, hope you know many of you do like it and, and enjoy watching it. Um, I've been really wanting to get back into doing um, something for you guys. Uh, when I was on holiday, I saw lots more those more subscribers come on, um, in which all of you haven't seen any new stuff yet. So I really do appreciate all you guys, you know, um, joining me on my page. Um, and um, try, I, I will try and make a few more interesting pieces. Uh, as I say, I know this isn't quite unique because Carl has already made a very similar um, piece. So I just want to thank uh, Carl Jacobson for allowing me to sort of kind of copy his yeah, his piece. Uh, so um, it's not kind of my own idea. Um, I wish I had the idea because it is pretty awesome, actually, pretty neat. But um, it just goes to show how you can really do so much with wood. Um, and and you know you can really make well, just make so many different uh, things. So um, there we go. Um, please like and subscribe, and any comments, uh, positive ones, are always nice to get. Um, and um, yeah, please subscribe if you haven't done already. Share uh, if you can share it on Facebook or Twitter or whatever. Be quite nice. So uh, maybe we can get a few more subscribers um, watching some of the work that I do. So uh, thanks, guys. And uh, I'll see you again soon for the next one.